Thank you for viewing this presentation for onboard chargers. My name is Wayne Salata, and I am part of the Power Discrete Technical Marketing Group at ST. We address what onboard chargers are commonly called OBC. We'll show you the prevalent architectures followed by topologies and solutions available from ST. There are three ways to charge a vehicle. One, with an external charge station, kind of like a gas pump. Two, external source such as what would be installed at home. And three, using a wireless charging mat, which the vehicle is parked over. Charging presents several challenges due to the large power conversion needed. Silicon carbide helps to address this due to its higher efficiency. Of course, EVs have been strongly associated with cars. However, there is a strong adoption heading towards industrial vehicles and with lithium ion batteries. Here is a basic block diagram of the conversion process. Due to the high power, three-phase input is needed. To begin on the left, we show a SCR bridge modified Vienna converter. Notice each leg or phase has this. Now we modify the arrangement and also remove the SCRs. Type 1 can only convert energy from all phases at the same time. However, with Type 2, each stage can process the energy from each phase separately. Of course, there are always trade-offs. Vienna 2 offers better efficiency and flexibility, but there is a higher cost associated with it. To sum up for both Vienna converters, ST has appropriate devices with options. Silicon carbide MOSFETs offer more efficiency versus MD mesh superjunction MOSFETs. And this is especially true if it were compared against IGBTs. Now we show demonstrated results from both Vienna types. No matter which transistor is used, it can be seen that type 2 has up to 1.3% better efficiency. This translates into less heat, less stress, ultimately longer runtime on a charge. ST has developed an eval board for Vienna Type 2. Please feel free to contact us about this new board. Now we move on to a different bridge PFC input. A traditional way to address high power factor correction is to OR the phases together with a CCM scheme with a traditional bridge rectifier at the front end. Now we become more elaborate. Based on control methods, we can incorporate different devices. The trade-offs will impact efficiency. Note, silicon carbide MOSFETs are needed because the intrinsic body diode is in series with the power path. Hence, this provides robustness. ST has developed a new demo board, which will be available in Q2. This accomplishes inrush current limiting with high power factor correction. Another common name for this configuration is called totem pole. Now we need to further process the power after the bridge PFC stage. Here we offer two topologies 
depending whether you need to convert energy back or not. Once again, ST has developed a new eval board which addresses the isolated DC to DC converter stage. This will be available in Q2 as well. And again, feel free to inquire about it. This can be used as a stacked converter to achieve higher power. Here we are just showing one seven kilowatt phase. Notice that this uses a water-cooled base plate. As part of the complete solution, ST offers this new eval board to power everything. As stated earlier, industrial vehicles are being adapted to lithium ion batteries and its charging. ST has demo boards to help you design and test these systems, which are energy efficient. Thank you so much for your attention, and please do not hesitate to contact ST for your power needs.